What's up guys? It's your girl Chelsea. This is Chelsea World and I'm back again with another video. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they set it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had the white so I two-toned them. Taking these drawers, I'm gonna be up until the morning. That ain't your car, you just a Lisa, you don't own it. If I'm in the car, drip too hard, don't stand too close. You gonna fuck around and drown off this way. Doing so today, as you read by that title, you hear it because you like, man. I heard it got to be glue, but I don't know if it really worked or I've been using got to be glued and it, it do not keep my wigs down. Like, I don't know what they talking about. So today I have three got to be glued products and I'm going to just speak on my experience with them. Everybody may be different, but I'm going to just speak on my experience and my uh pros and cons about the products or whatever so straight into the video so first i have the black got to be glued then i have the yellow got to be glued and then i also got the spray got to be glued so we're gonna first start off with the product I use the least, which is gonna go in order from least to like the most. So this, I use this the least. I basically use this, the spray, when let's say, this is how I would categorize this spray. This spray is stronger than like mousse, like you know when you got like some crinkles in your hair or something, you just wanted to stay right there, like stay in place. Or whatever I say this is stronger than mousse like this will keep it where it need to be much better than mousse would but I'll say it's like beneath like spritz and stuff because spritz is super strong this pretty much let's say you didn't curl your hair for the night and you go out and you in the air and the humidity and everything your curls just falling and looking all kind of crazy this will probably be what you need to spray on there. Like, it'll keep them curls right where they're supposed to be. And it'll keep, like, shining your hair or whatever. So, this is pretty much what I use this for. Not, I don't use it often. Just when you want to keep something just right there. And I wouldn't use a lot of it. Like, you don't need to just spray a whole curl with this thing. Like, I just, like, spray everything kind of far back. Like, shh, spray it all or whatever. That's basically what I use this for. And it's really good for that. And it keeps that shine on there. So that's this. Second product, I would say, would be this. I use the yellow tube of Got To Be Glue less than the black. So what I use this for is... When you're like, let's say you're having a, you're going to put on a lace wig or whatever. When, when you put on like the tan looking cap, y'all know what I'm talking about, the tan cap before you put your lace wig on. If you don't, I'm going to post a picture. But the tan cap that you put on your head before installing your lace wigs, that's what I use this glue for. So basically, I would put, I braid my hair back, put the tan cap on. And tan cap, in case you don't know what that's for, for one, it protect like the edges of your hair. Like you don't have to put the glue, or even if you're not using got to glue, just any glue. You don't have to put any glue on your real like edges and stuff. You're trying to grow them out. You just put the cap on them. So you don't have to like mess with them or whatever. And I just think it's more protective to just have that cap. And it give it a more natural look. All your real hair is just backing out the way like... That's basically what that cap is for. So, I will braid my hair back, put the cap on, and then I will put this glue, which this glue comes out white, in case you were wondering. This glue is white. So, I will put that glue around the perimeter of my head where the uh, tan cap is at, and I use like a blow dryer and just dry it until it's like, up basically and then you know you cut the trim off comment down below if you want to see me 
do that process if you're still like unsure of what I'm talking about comment down below but anyways that's what I use this glue for now it's white so you can know if this glue is dry because if it's still white it's not dry so you just keep blow drying it till it's dry and you'll know when it's done because you shouldn't be able to lift that tin cap no more so that's what I use this glue for now to my favorite glue and I'm gonna just say cosmic glue is winning because then it went from this size bottle to this size bottle with this black glue I don't know if it's got this size and the yellow but it doing the black and I use that more so shout out to them and it's the same price so anyways the black glue so what I use is well I keep saying black glue this glue is not black it's just got a black tube or whatever but this glue is clear so this is what I use this for when I use this for the actual installation of the wig so whenever you're installing your wig and you got your tan cap on it's all glued down and it's stuck around the perimeters of your head I then go like right in front of it and kind of like overlay it just a little bit with this glue like I probably put like one layer of the glue around like from ear to ear and then dry it and you don't know if it's dry because you you won't see it and you can like like when you touch it'll be sticky like not wet but like you'll feel like your hand kind of sticky on there so that's when it's dry but i do like one layer blow dry it i'll probably put another layer and blow dry it if i'm feeling like i got a lot of time i might put three layers and blow dry but two should be enough now let me just give you a heads up about trying to use this glue instead of like real wig glue if you're going to use this glue to install like wigs first of all my skin is like very oily so you will be using this more often than you would like real wig glue or whatever just because this is not glue like this is not wig glue this is like gel basically so you will use it more often um what you want to do is like when you got makeup and everything else that's not gonna help this stick so you want to alcohol wipe like your forehead part make sure any like anything all the dirt and everything is just gone when you're trying to install with any of this glue because that's the that's probably the only way that this glue is truly gonna work so make sure that you use alcohol and like scrub everything like your forehead right there because i'm telling you if you don't it's, it's probably not gonna work so yeah make sure you do that um sometimes people say like the glue turn white or i've also seen this glue turn white like on my lace wigs or just on the front of my forehead or whatever it's probably because you did not let it dry that's usually why it turns white because it wasn't dried so you want to make sure that you completely dry like to where it's tacky on your forehead before you like put your wig down on it or whatever and press it down um what else if you want if you are one of those people who do use this and you're like but that leave my lace front like all gunky and stuff with gel in it and everything else comment down below girl because i got you i if this video get i'm gonna give y'all a hard number because y'all been slacking if you watch this video you should already be giving it a thumbs up but this video get at least 30 likes i'm gonna say 30 so everybody better like this if you get 30 likes i will make a video on how to get all that gunk and gel and everything else out of your lace front and have your lace front looking brand new again because it's very 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 simple like it's real easy once you figure it out like i ain't gonna lie i just figured this out but once you figure it out you can be like dang that's it i could have been doing this so 
once y'all get this video to 30 likes, I will drop that video on how to get your lace front clean and looking brand new again like you never even wore it. So, that's basically what I use the Got To Be Glue for. You can use Got To Be Glue instead of real glue. The only difference is you're probably going to be using it much, much more often because it's not real glue, it's just gel. So, it'll stick for a little while, but then you'll have to just... I had to wipe it all off, use the alcohol again, and then just redo it. And then go back out and on your merry way. Um, also, you can use this spray. If you got like whatever products you use to put your edges down, slick your edges down or whatever, and you feel like your edges just not staying, you can use this spray. Like whenever you use your little edge control products, Spray like lightly over it and like I use like a blow dryer. You don't really have to use a blow dryer, but Of course it works better if you do um Just blow dry and it'll stay like down with that glue that that spray That spray works. I really don't use That glue to lay my edges down. I'm pretty sure you could Like I'm sure it would work, but I, I don't use it but um I'm Trying to think is there anything else? Um, comment down below if you also want some products that you can use that really is wig glue that's cheap. I will comment down below the product. I mean, I will make a video of the products that I use that are very cheap wig glues. Um, I say got to be glue is just a cheap way out because they cost like five, six dollars a bottle and... It really do get the job done. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe this video. If you got something that I missed out that I didn't uh, mention about this Got To Be Glue, comment it down below because I'm sure everyone really has questions about Got To Be Glue. So, yep, that's about it for that video. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post another video. You. Yeah, you. Go down and like. And then come back up. I'll wait. You like this video yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay, girl. I'm just saying. Because uh, if you want me to keep letting you in on my secrets, you going to have to let me know you appreciate it. So, no, nah, I'm just kidding with y'all. But make sure you do go down and like this video and subscribe to this channel. And just stay stay posted because I will be letting y'all in on other things that I do or use that you probably just wouldn't know unless you tried it. So, till next time, guys.